Still up at our state's capital right now, lawmakers are trying to get tougher on phony petition signatures. House Bill 1230 would add to the existing law saying it's illegal for a person or group to turn in a petition if more than 30 percent of the signatures are invalid. People who violate the rule could be charged with a Class A misdemeanor and be banned from doing business in the state for five years. The matter is being talked about after last year's term limits petition was challenged in the state Supreme Court. It is your job as a sponsoring committee member to make sure it's done correctly, it's done lawfully. Again, we're talking about changing the state, the constitution of the state, right? I mean, that is a high, high bar. Now, if you have a law enforcement person come to your door, knock on your door, he's got a badge and a gun, are you ever gonna sign a petition again? Probably not, that's intimidation. Today, Senate lawmakers are also considering the similar House Bill 1324, which says the Secretary of State may refuse to put a measure on the ballot if it's found to have not enough valid signatures. That matter can be challenged in court, but it requires clear and convincing evidence that the Secretary of State acted unlawfully.